morning, Farmersville High School. I'm Elena Gonzalez, and I'm here with Evan Owens. And today is the first day of the second full week. Right now is a great time to establish a good study habit to get your work done on time. Are you worthy of winning gold? Yes, of course. Then where's our gold medal at? Right here. Where's y'all's? Okay, then let's get into the Olympic spirit and please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Please be seated. Students, if you ride a bike or scooter to FHS, please use the bike rack to lock up your sweet ride. This is found on the north side of campus by the 500 hallway doors. Students, don't forget to go pick up your yearbooks in room 205. And if you know anyone who graduated last year and they got a yearbook, make sure they come and get them as well. All students must remember that loitering is never allowed in the FHS parking lot. If you arrive early to school, you must enter the building. Students are not allowed back into the parking lot during FFT, passing period, lunches, or any other time of the day prior to 4 p.m. dismissal. Unless you are immediately leaving campus, this includes checking out for the day or going to dual credit courses. This will be video monitored. Don't earn a consequence. You have your parking pass revoked. Just meet the expectations. FHS administration wants to remind all students that the district-wide dress code is now in full effect and students on every campus are expected to be in dress code to remain in the classroom. Please familiarize yourself with the dress code if you have any questions which can be found in the online student handbook. I hear Meet the Farmers was a big hit. I hope you all had just as much fun as I did getting to meet all the amazing people who will represent Farmersville this year. We are starting week three of seven in this marking period, and students are now able to see the draft board the teachers should have, a QR code in their classroom for y'all to scan. And starting this Wednesday, drafting for FFT will begin. All students must remember that FHS student parking lot may only be used if your vehicle has a parking pass displayed. Vehicles in this lot without a pass will be towed. Passes may be purchased for 25 with cash or credit card in the front office. You must bring proof of insurance, your driver's license, and know your license plate number. Students, don't forget today is picture day. Photos will be taken during your English class. Teachers, please tell your students to check their high school email every day so they do not miss out on important information. If they're in dual credit, then they need to check their high school and call-in email every day. Email is also how schedule change information will be shared. Volleyball had a tough tournament with the teams from all over the state with winning four matches and losing four. And they have a match again today at Edgewood. Are you wanting to get more involved with other students and fill time outside of school? We have a chess club that will take place in room 300 with Mr. Webb, but if chess isn't for you, then why don't you create a club? Although you will need a teacher to sponsor it, it can be a fun way to make new friends and join in supporting our school this year. Today's lunch menu is pepperoni pizza, carrots, baked potato halves, fresh fruit, garden salad, a spicy chicken strips, cowboy grilled cheese, and a cranberry chicken salad. UIL Academics will be starting up soon. If you are interested in competing in STEM events or fine art events, either let your teacher know or come see Mr. Napo in room 2100 for more information. All FHS staff must display a parking pass while using any FHS parking spaces. Please hang this from your rearview mirror so it is visible. A big shout out goes to Miss De La Fuente who had a birthday Friday and Coach Walker had a birthday on Friday as well. And Mr. G had a birthday Saturday. Happy late birthday to you all. I hope y'all have a great one. That's all the news we have for you today. This is KFMV Media News, news from, from the Ville. Ville.